So if you've been having an issue with your tennis game and you're not seeing your game get better, I have three important tips that are gonna help you instantly get better if you are able to consistently do this on a weekly basis. Now let's get to it. So the first tip that I'm gonna be telling y'all is gonna be right here on your racket. You're gonna to wanna to make sure every time that you play, you're trying to change that grip. Now you're gonna see this grip right here is nice and white. It's a comfort grip, so it's very soft. But after a while, this grip is gonna turn white and dirty and gray. So when you step out on that court, either for a match or just a warm, a warm up with your team, Make sure you guys are always going to change your grip. Pro tip number two is gonna be, when I get new clients, they're always death gripping the racket. Now what does death grip mean? Death grip means that they're literally trying to control everything on the tennis court and they're grabbing the racket so tight that what they're doing is they're causing this tension right here and it's causing inflammation when they hit. So when they hit the ball, that vibration goes through the racket, it goes through the arm, and then it builds up inflammation, and that's how you get tennis elbow. So when I'm working with new beginners, first time playing tennis, my focus is to help them relax that arm, to let them know that they don't have to death grip it and they don't have to squeeze it tight because you wanna be nice and loose and flexible when you're playing tennis. Think about it like this. If you get scared or one of your friends scare you, what's gonna happen? When they scare you, you're gonna tense up. So that's the same thing people do when they play tennis. They don't want to miss the ball. So what they're doing is they're tensing up every time they hit and they're, and they're just so tense. So nothing really feels loose and fluid. An extra hack for that would be trying to hit a forehand with two fingers so that they can go ahead and feel that you don't have to death grip it doing that on your forehand or on your serve, taking your pinky off just to make sure that you're getting a little bit of a relaxation and nice and smooth and you're not tensing the racket up too much. Pro tip number three is going to be the return a serve position. There's a lot of times that I see when players are return a serve, they like to stand right here. So a lot of returners, they like to cut that service box into a 50-50, so they like to stand in the middle. And then what they do is they square up with the net when the server is actually serving at an angle. So one of the first tips I like to tell people is to make sure depending on how hard that person serve, is either you're gonna be back, but make sure your left foot is lined up with the singles line. And then what we're doing is we're angling ourselves off to return the serve because you don't wanna be squared up, squaring face this way, and the returner is serving at an angle. So you always wanna be angled towards your server. Sit foot, left foot is gonna be on this singles line. Another pro tip is the grip. A lot of people don't know how to hold their return, return to serve grip. I like to tell people, make sure you got your forehand grip because you're gonna be hitting more forehands than backhands, but also make sure you have your left hand, if you're a two-handed person, on that backhand grip. So if they hit a backhand, it's easy for you to turn that left hand so your right hand can get into that grip, so you can go ahead and return with the backhand. Or if they hit a forehand, it's gonna be easy for you to get that unit turn so that you can be able to hit a forehand return. But the main thing what I'm getting here is that you wanna be able to line up your left foot with this singles line and make sure you're in that forehand grip with your back, left hand backhand grip and that we're facing this opponent that's gonna be at an angle. Because the main thing what you're doing here is telling your opponent, hey, I'm protecting my backhand side. I know I'm more over here and we're kinda of teasing and leaving this open, but that's the point. The point is for you to tease this so that you'll have more of an opportunity to go ahead and hit the forehand return, telling your opponent, I'm, I'm protecting this backhand side. So you're gonna have to either hit a really good serve angle, which they're gonna cough up a fault because they're trying to be too perfect. And then what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to serve to this forehand side and you're already anticipating it and knowing where they're going. So make sure you pay attention to where you're standing and the grip that you're using. All right, so here's from my last pro tip. There's gonna be an extra tip for you. It's going to be the volley. Now, a lot of people will say hammer grip. They'll say, um, you know, you're knocking a hammer down like this. But I like to make sure people understand that the grip for the volley is a continental. Now, back in the day, the continental grip used to be on one. And I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. So look at this grip of your racket. The very top layer is called a bevel. All of these long strips are called bevels. The very top one is gonna be one. The corner is gonna be two. Side is three, four very bottom five, six, backside seven, and eight. Now for a continental grip for serves and volleys, everyone likes to know it as two for continental when they're taking their inside knuckle here and they're placing it on the corner and then they're shaking the racket's hand. 
a lot of people like to say pick up the racket hammer grip like this but sometimes your hand and your knuckle could be out of place so for the volley grip i like to also cheat it a little bit not to an eastern forehand grip but you're putting your palm a little bit more behind the racket so that your racket face could be a little bit behind the ball because with a true continental it's a little bit harder for people to get that wrist in a certain position so it can help them out with a little bit of the cheat it's not an eastern grip but your palm is a little bit more behind the racket and with the backhand volley you can get a little bit more angle and hit the side of the ball and the back of the ball in relation to a continental where it seems like the wrist is a little bit locked in so try that tip right there for the grip but also a lot of people like to hold at the bottom of the racket sometimes some people's wrists are too weak so what they can do is for a volley is they can choke up a little bit a little bit on the handle that will give them a little bit more control and flexibility on the volleys you'll see nadal does this and a couple other top pros actually choke up on their handle instead of actually being always at the bottom what most coaches use so try these tips and if you liked any of these tips in this video make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because like five percent of y'all that watch the videos a lot of people watch them but y'all don't subscribe it doesn't hurt it's free helps the channel out lets me know i need to keep making videos like this so until then make sure you guys are going ahead and trying all these tips and we'll see you guys out there another day on a tennis court peace